Hi, I'm Kaleeb Thompson and welcome to the Caribbean Diaspora Weekly, a place for news, features and opinions affecting the Jamaican and Caribbean diasporas at large. First, in this week's News Roundup. Caribbean nation demand reparations. Thousands oppose repeal of Bugri law. And telecom giants ban popular apps. In the expose, the fashionistas, designers of Caribbean descent talk to us about their flair for the fabulous. I think anybody that wants to feel great is my client because I think I can make anybody beautiful. And in the diaspora perspective, the eye of the beholder, an opinion piece on how those of us from the Caribbean community really see ourselves. We need to revise our definition of beauty to include everything God made, whether it looks the way we expect it to or not. The child who fails out of school isn't necessarily going to fail out of life. Let's get started with the weekly news roundup. Hi, I'm Karma Hill and welcome to the weekly news roundup from Jamaicans.com and Cabcast.tv covering June 26 to July 3rd, 2014. Off the top in, Diaspora News from Europe. Governments from the Caribbean moved ahead with their plans to demand reparations from European countries for the damages suffered during the transatlantic slave trade during the colonial era. A high-level delegation representing all 15 countries in the Caribbean region will travel to Europe in order to serve demand payment letters to Britain, the Netherlands, France, Spain and Portugal, among others. The letters are intended to give the European countries a chance to negotiate settlements with the Caribbean nations. From Florida, on Monday, June 30th, in a fitting close to National Caribbean American Heritage Month, the City of Miramar and Commissioner Alexandra Davis honored 10 Caribbean community leaders from the English, Spanish, and French-speaking Caribbean. The honorees included CaribCast's own CEO, Tyrone G. Robertson, who was honored for his contribution in the field of entertainment. Other honorees included Congresswoman Frederica Wilson of the Bahamas and Sydney Roberts of Jamaica. From the UK, a court in the United Kingdom has denied the request for asylum from Horatio Edwards, 32, in which he stated he would be persecuted because of his sexual orientation. Edwards was denied asylum because the court found he had been dishonest about his sexuality and did not believe he was really bisexual. While the court did not release information about how it reached its conclusion, Edwards has a newborn daughter in Leeds, where he has allegedly lived for 14 years. In Caribbean news, investments totaling $30 billion are required in order to reduce the dependence of Caribbean countries on fossil fuels and to expand efforts to provide renewable energy. According to Warren Smith, president of the Caribbean Development Bank, most nations in the region are extremely dependent on fossil fuels to generate power, and exposure to volatile oil prices has damaged the competitiveness of these countries in the global marketplace. Increased investment in the renewable energy sector could relieve these pressures. Coral reefs in the Caribbean are likely to disappear within 20 years, a warning from the United Nations and the International Union for Conservation of Nature. This is as a result of overfishing, which has reduced marine animals, such as sea urchins and parrotfish that feed on algae, which smother the coral. Only one-sixth of the original coral reef coverage currently exists. The findings seem to contradict popular theories that climate change is responsible for the decline of coral. In Jamaican news, according to Jamaican police, some 25,000 people demonstrated in favor of Churches Action Uniting Society for Emancipation, CAUSE, a rally held in St. Andrew. Organizers called on Jamaicans to support strong families and to stand against the homosexual agenda that moves to repeal the Bogri Act. 
Jamaica's Senate will review legislation designed to erase the criminal records of individuals who received convictions for possessing small amounts of ganja. According to Senator Mark Golding, Justice Minister, the bill calls for erasing the records of those convicted for possessing two ounces or less of ganja. In entertainment, Audiences have awaited the official trailer of the original film, Jamaican Mafia, since March 2014, when a 53-second clip from the trailer was released on YouTube. The film's organizers pr decided to premiere the trailer on social media, making the announcement of its availability on its Facebook page. The complete trailer is also available for viewing on YouTube. And in sports, Tickets have become available since the 1st of July for the Lima Call Caribbean Premier League, CPL. Prices begin at US$8 for the T20 Cricket Tournament, which will feature Chris Gale, Dwayne Bravo, Kieron Pollard, and a live performance from hip-hop star Rick Ross. The CPL played to sold-out crowds in 2013. In Business Following a warning, Digicel Jamaica has blocked unlicensed VOIP services like Viber in this market. Lime confirmed that it has also imposed a block on Viber. According to a notice sent to customers, Digicel stated that unlicensed VOIP operators use telecom networks to deliver services, but they do not pay the required fees for that privilege. Trending this week... Tessan Chin's international debut album dropped on July 1st, entering the iTunes charts at number 6. After promoting the cover through social media to her adoring fans and receiving the tweeted endorsement of voice coach Adam Levine, Tessan handwrote a thank you note stating, To all who helped me spread the word, this could not have happened without you. In response to our perspective on Caribbean exceptionalism, A. Clark replies, People, regardless of their country of birth, are not born with confidence. These characteristics are developed based on children's role models, the feedback they're given, and the positive messages and encouragement children receive at each stage in their development. B. Wallace offers, We are made to believe back home that wanting to attain wealth is greed and that you are not a good person if you do. I do tend to agree there, but that is not just in the Caribbean. Middle class or poor people all over the world have this idea that it is wrong to want to be wealthy. And Alvin B says, Do not most religions teach the importance of helping our brother man? Is that not one of the characteristics of most persons in the diaspora? The intense desire to help another member of the diaspora? Share your thoughts with us at thecaribbeandiaspora.tv When we come back, a look into the minds of two fashion houses born of Caribbean blood on standing out and moving up in the world of design in this week's expose.